It's very British. London, Westminster, the Houses of Parliament. Gisela Stewart may have been born in Bavaria, Germany, but she's not here as a tourist. She's a Labour MP for a Birmingham constituency. In the run-up to the elections, her Conservative opponents tried to discredit her because of her German background without success. The funny thing, the nice thing for me was, if you try to put someone down for being a foreigner in Birmingham, you're insulting 80% of the population. That helped my election result. Most people thought it was inappropriate to attack me on that. For Gebhard von Molke, a former German ambassador to the UK, improving German-British relations remains a passion. Here in Berlin, he's speaking about the topic with young people from both countries. Into, into the world. He's advocating better understanding between the British and the Germans. We wanted to bring across that uh, today's Germany is not the Germany of the 40s. For the diplomat from an old aristocratic family, it's clear why there's still so much anti-German sentiment in Britain. For many years, Hitler represented a real danger to Britain. Viele Deutsche wissen es nicht. Many Germans don't know that German rockets reached England and caused extensive damage in London and Coventry and other cities and claimed people's lives. Wartime Prime Minister Winston Churchill visited the bombed cities and helped keep British morale high. After the war, Germany was in ruins. Britain was one of the victorious allies and an occupying power. It helped West Germany get back on its feet, both domestically and internationally. For example, it supported West German accession to NATO. The paradox was that it took Britain longer to recover from World War II than West Germany, something Gisela Stewart experienced for herself when she first came here in the early 70s. She was shocked at the state of the country's economy. When I arrived here in 1974, Britain had a three-day week. The miners were on strike. There was no coal, there was no power. West Germany was still at the peak of its economic miracle. People in Britain had the feeling, although the country had won the war, there was food rationing until 1955. Industry hadn't developed as fast, and there was still a certain resentment towards the Germans. Unease about Germany regaining strength reached a high point when the Berlin Wall fell and Germany was reunified. Margaret Thatcher gave her agreement very reluctantly, and only after several diplomatic mishaps in regard to Helmut Kohl. Thatcher was rewarded with mockery from her own people. Please stop wasting my time! She preferred a divided Germany to a reunited one. She was very clear about that. And she did reflect the opinions of some conservative Britons. The Beatles and many other bands were far from conservative and refreshingly different. British pop culture was conquering the continent, including Germany. The sounds of swinging London and later cool Britannia had a certain magic for many Germans, and that holds true to this day. There are many things about her new homeland that Gisela Stewart enjoys, including people's friendliness and good manners. She finds it easy to make contact with members of her constituency. And she believes many Germans secretly admire the British for their long democratic tradition. They have a much closer relationship to their nation than many others do. For more than 300 years, there's been no crisis in that relationship. The civil war was back in the 17th century. Since then, government institutions have adapted with the times. That wasn't the case in Europe. But English patriotism can be extreme at times, especially when the England soccer team plays Germany. Every match is laden with political rivalry, and the tabloid press has a field day. One of the biggest battles was the 1966 World Cup final at Wembley. German fans shouted no goal. The referee decided it was one. For the visitors, it was an injustice that went down in history. But when Germany hosted the World Cup in 2006, the British revised their opinions. Fun and peaceful and easygoing, 
the Germans were all right after all. The Daily Telegraph had a huge headline, the war is over. And since then, since 2006, that attitude's remained. Relations between Germany and Britain wouldn't be the same without the Queen. The former German diplomat admires her greatly, and many of his country folk along with him. In fact, some Germans are secretly envious, wishing they too had a monarch like Elizabeth II.